This problem illustrates the use of the PG model. So in this problem, a gas is being compressed, a gas inside this piston cylinder device is being compressed in an isentropic manner. Isentropic manner means entropy remains constant. Initial volume is given, final volume is given as by a ratio of 10, the gas is being compressed. We have to determine the mass of the trapped gas, final temperature, etc. So let's begin by calling these two states, state one and state two, and let's list what is known about state one first. The pressure has been supplied. Temperature is known. And the molar mass is given. Also, the volume is given to us. So let's do first thing first. You probably recognize just from the molar mass there's probably air, but we cannot just assume that. So let's find the mass of the gas, which should be very simple. We can use the uh, ideal gas equation of state, which is PV equals RT. That defines an ideal or perfect gas. So if you recall, R is what? R bar over M bar T. So therefore the specific volume can be found as R bar over M bar T over P. What is R bar? That's the universal gas constant, 8.314 kilojoule per kilomole Kelvin. It's always the same number for any gas. And M bar is 29. By the way, R is R bar over M bar. So if you do the calculation, you can show that R turns out to be about 0 0.287. And temperature is 300, pressure is 100. So 0 0.287 times 3. And that gives us a specific volume of approximately 0 0.86. So therefore, the mass of the system is what? Density times volume, and density is inverse over specific volume, 1 over 0 0.86, which is uh, 1.162 kg. So we are done with the first part of the problem. We'll, we'll, we'll verify all this once we finish the manual solution. We'll use test solution to verify. Okay. So now let's go and look at the other part. So we are done with uh, uh, what, what we are done with here. Um, we are done with part A. And the second part is the final temperature. Third part is the final pressure. So we notice that if the entropy remains constant, uh, let's write down what is known about state two. Of course, mass will never change. M2 would be equal M1, 1.162 kg. The volume is supplied. How much is the volume? Let's not write the, I write, not write the suffixes because it's clear under state two, the volume is 0 0.1 meter cube, which is 10th of the first uh, initial volume. And of course, it's isentropic, so S equals S1. By, so this is essentially 2, 2, 2 here, state 2, how they relate to state 1. Now, for the PG model, in an, if entropy remains constant, if you go to your formula sheet, let me just go to test and tell you what I mean by that. If you go to property tables, and table J has all your formulas that you ever need. Uh, so open up, this is, this, is, this is table J. If we click there, it brings up a PDF file. I suggest you print that out. It has all the governing equations for different kind of systems. And here, this is what we are after. This is, the, uh, this is called a different 
the equations for different material models and we are using the PG model. So if you use the PG model, you will notice that let me see if I can find a pencil. For the PG model, if entropy remains constant, this is the formula for finding delta U, delta S, delta H, etc. But a special case happens when delta S equals zero, S equals constant. As you can see, then the ratio of different properties are connected by K, where K is the specific heat ratio. Okay, in this problem, we, we know the volume ratio. So notice the first equation, we can find the pressure ratio, temperature ratio, etc. So pressure ratio is connected to volume ratio by this formula, if you notice. So we'll just pick this up from here and go back. So let me erase this first. I think that will erase everything. Let's go back to our solution and we use this formula now. So what is that formula? We picked up from, from table, we'll call this table J, the equation sheet. P2 over P1 equals V1 over V2 to the K. And the value of K has been supplied in this problem. If you go, the K is 1.4 is supplied right here. So we come back and we, we notice that P2 over P1 uh, from this equation, we can find P2 to be P1 times, and V1 over V2 is nothing but 10. The ratio is 10. So it's 100 kPa into 10 to the power 1.4, and that's uh, 25, 12 kPa. So we found the final pressure. Uh, let's say the next question is find the final temperature. To find the final temperature, we notice that we can always use, let me use the new page. We could also go back to table J and pick up a relationship between, let's say T2 over T1 is a function of V1 over V2 to the something. And from there we could solve it. It's easier, now that we know what is P2 over P1, which is 10 to the 1.4, which is 25.12. So we know the ratio of pressure now. So therefore finding the ratio of temperature should be easier. And for that, we just write down T2 over, let me pick up the thicker pen. T2 over T1, or, or I'm sorry, let's first write down the ideal gas equation of state for this must be always true and this must be always true true, right? This is for state 1 and this is for state 2. Dividing each other, we can get P2 over P1 equals T2 over T1 and V1 over V2, right? Because mass remains constant, we can write that as V1 over V2, dividing by mass in both numerator and denominator. So therefore, it is T2 over T1, and that's 10. Oh, sorry, we want to find T2 over T1. So this equation means T2 over T1 equals P2 over P1 divided by 110, which is simply 25.12 star 0.1. 2.512. So that gives us T2 300 times 2.512, which is, you can show that this is 754 Kelvin. So we have found the final temperature delta capital U. So it should not be specific. That's wrong. We should, we should call it internal energy, the total internal energy. Specific will be small u. So let's with this correction, let's proceed. What we want to find is delta U, which is U2 minus E1, or mass doesn't change, so therefore it's U2 minus E1, which is mass times CV times T2 minus T1. Again, this is from table J. If you go to table J, we'll see that immediately, and I'll again take you back there and show you. 
But now our task reduces to, we already found T2, we found T1 is given. Mass is given to find CV. However, the CV is not given. What is given is K, which is CP over CV is given to us, uh, which means CP equals K times CV. So our goal is to find CV. And what else is given? K is given to us and R is given to us. We also know CP minus CV equals R for ideal gas or perfect gas for both PG and IG model. This we should always remember. Again, this is available in formula, formula sheet. So if we substitute this here, we get K times CV minus CV equals R. That tells us CV equals R divided by K minus 1. Recall that we already found K, uh, R as, as uh, 0 0.287 and K is given 1.4. So that gives us a CV value of about 0 0.718. Now substitute this CV in here and we get delta U equals mass. How much was the mass given to us? Uh, oh, we, we did find the mass, I'm sorry. Mass was found to be 1.162 kg. Uh, 1.162 and CV we just found 0 0.718 and temperature difference is 754 minus 300. If we substitute these values, we get about, I mean, if you do the calculation, calculation, we get 379 kilojoules. So we got all the manual answers, but you should never be satisfied unless you find a way to verify. One way is to go back and recheck every calculation. Uh, we'll follow a sim similar, uh, uh, because test calcs are available, we'll use them. But before that, look, in the table, the formulas I used should be in here. I use the formula delta U to be CV minus delta. I use this formula. Also, I used CP minus CV equals R. And I also used K equals CP over CV. Actually, I derived this, but you can just pick up. The material properties are connected by this. I, I showed you this formula, but it's already here. So in this problem, R is known, K is known, so CV could be found.